good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. And welcome back to The Curry Spot with me, Dr. Jill Barham and Amanda Potter and... Catherine Cook. Hey, <laughs> Catherine Cook. Oh my goodness, we're delighted that you've taken some time out to speak to us today because I know how busy you are. So Catherine, I have known, I don't know for how long, uh, and her, her lovely husband, Jonathan, we connected at a very, very soul level. We've just been talking about this, haven't we? When we first met, when I used to live down near Catherine, and I now live near Amanda. <laughs> and uh, I know Catherine because she's been helping me with essential oils. You like essential oils, don't you? I love essential oils. I believe you do, doTERRA. Yes, that's oh, right. We're yes. already friends. <laughs> <laughs> so Jonathan are the absolute experts and they do loads of training and they've got a massive team. So that's where the kind of connection came from. And I will talk to you. We are going to talk to you about this one day. Um, never fear. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about something that I think has probably taken over your life a bit, hasn't it? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> about how many weeks ago was it that you started this new Facebook group called Awake and Travel? So it is it was six weeks on Sunday, six weeks on Sunday, and there's now 52,000 people in the group. Yeah, so amazing. when when I joined, I think I was one of the first 500, yeah. something like that, because obviously I'm Facebook friends with you. Yeah. And I couldn't, I couldn't believe how quickly this grew, but presumably you couldn't believe it either. <laughs> Not at all. And the thing is, I've been asked, well, did you advertise it? I was like, it's a secret group, we can't tell anyone. <laughs> so it's kind of like, it, it, it's just happened. It just literally has evolved. And I think probably well, the the thing from that is that you know you you find it and then you share with friends that are like-minded and it, it just goes it, that's just how it has evolved so it was I know what I'm going to do I can't find anywhere to go on holiday where I want to feel not judged and all the rest of it I didn't want any of the rubbish going on and that and and I thought I oh, maybe I'll get to connect with some people and I might find somewhere <laughs> That's and, amazing. Um, yeah, it is amazing. That was it. <laughs> you've got, you know, I know you've got three boys, and a lot of people that are finding you, they they think they're coming to find um, somewhere to go on holiday, like you, that won't make you wear a mask or take a test or you know be judgmental. But yes. they actually find so much more, don't they? Well, yes, because Jill told me about it in the first place. And I just went on to have a little mooch to see if there was anywhere I could go in the lakes just perhaps for a weekend or something. Yeah. It, it changed my mood completely. I didn't even realise I was being affected by the lockdown. But I said to you, didn't I? I can't get over this. I, it's really lifted me. Then I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to do a retreat. And then it just snowballed. I was contacting uh, different places in the lakes and then just telling my groups like the angel ladies who I see on a Tuesday and everybody was keen and it lifted everybody and they were contacting me saying oh thank you for telling us about Awake and Travel and then every day at least once you see some post from Awake and Travel saying I found my family oh, oh my gosh I was feeling low it's lifted me and thank you for that. Oh it's my gosh, lovely. that is amazing. Do you know what? That is just so lovely to hear. So, so lovely to hear because so I felt, what is this world going to look like for my children? I decided that this group has to be a space where we're not talking about all that stuff. We're talking about climbing a mountain in the UK. We're talking about all these different other things and exciting things. And like you say, your retreat, how exciting. That's just something to look forward to. And I think that was taken away from us, you know, through all of these different situations, that looking forward to stuff, because the uncertainty is, it gets to most of us, doesn't it? Just not knowing what I think is really powerful is the strength that we can all be to each other. We've been subjected to is this lack of connection, mm -hmm. you know, and this closeness and you know, every family have got families like us, who perhaps the only person that is awake and is a, a truth seeker and is a bit of a rebel. We talk a lot about the rebel gene, don't we? Well, we like Kerry Cassidy <laughs> and her books, Rebel Gene. So, yeah. yeah. And, and so for those people particularly, and it doesn't matter who you are or what your background is, it's so important that we bring, this, this is what the big 
marches are, you know, 150,000 people in London two weeks ago. You know, if you're not being shown that on mainstream media, it's so easy to think that you're the only person that's thinking about this and feels this way because the rest of your family and friends are telling you you're mad, you know. Yeah. You're and I'm sure there are other groups as well, like yours. This is just one group with 52,000 people in it but yeah. they're gonna grow more. But what you said earlier before we came onto the recording, which I think is really important, is that even if you knew people before this and you knew you had a connection, this has actually amplified the strong connections we have with people like ourselves. Would you agree? Absolutely. And the, the really lovely thing has been people have messaged me to say, oh my gosh, there's actually people in this group that I know and I did not know that they were on the same wavelength as me. And actually, there's a mum on the school run. And really? she, yeah, and we'd spoken quite a bit before. And as this was all building up, just knowing there's somebody else gives you that huge boost. And that's really important. One of my favourite feeds that came up was a lady who said, thank you so much for this group. For the first time, I've gone into a shop without wearing a mask. Yeah. Nice. And that was because people gave her advice and it's, you know, it's on the government website. You are exempt if X, Y, Z. And actually X, Y, Z is if it makes you feel uncomfortable. Well, I feel uncomfortable with it. Here we are talking about awakened travel, but actually we're just talking about awakened lives, aren't we? That's true. Yeah. And I've noticed on uh, awakened travel, sometimes people will post saying this has happened to me. Has anybody got any advice? Yes. So it's really lovely. Mm -hmm. Everything you've put together there is lovely. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Although it is a travel group, we aren't traveling really much at the moment, yeah. you know? And so a lot of it is about lifting. If it was called Awakened Lives, you know, go against the government, the group would be shut down, let's face it. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, that's, that's a, very, a very good point, though, Jill. Thank you. It's, and that's why we called the website awakenedchoice.net because we realized that actually we, we, we want to be able to talk about all different areas. It's an amazing place to be like, this is where this topic is going to be so we can talk about it. And not be censored. That's right, yeah. When you decided that you'd build the website so that people could advertise their venues and advertise their businesses if they were awakened, we just decided, well, this, this is it really, because not only it gives us an opportunity to promote what we do to the people that we want to bring in, Yes but also to other businesses, because we want to pair with those um, yeah. venues that we know have the same kind of values too. So that's yeah. what we're hoping is gonna happen. And it was nice when I was contacting the people on Awaken Travel about putting on the retreat, because I was able to say, can I just confirm nobody will have to wear a mask? Cause that's the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do on a retreat. If we can help businesses that are like-minded to increase their revenue, and that is amazing. I would really like to be able to help that to happen. So you have to survive. You have to thrive for yourself and your family community as well. And then obviously you want that additional abundance so that you can support and help more people. And it's funny because our tagline for the curry spot is to survive and thrive. And right. you just mentioned both words. So. <laughs> I, love it. I love that. Well, listen, um, we're very grateful that you've joined us today. And uh, we're looking forward to be a bigger part of the Awakened Choice community as well. And yeah. um, we yeah. can't wait to see how it grows. Oh, it's so wonderful. <laughs> so next time we see you, we're going to put Jonathan in. This, we'll invite Jonathan along as well. Yeah. Uh, make sure that you watch previous videos on the Curry Spot here. And also make sure that you connect with Catherine and go to the Awakened Travel Facebook group and to the website as well. We're gonna put the links all around this video and underneath so that everybody can connect with everybody else. Thank you, my darling. Amazing, thank you so much. See you soon. Take care, bye-bye.